Oh, yeah. I'm not waiting to run some Wednesday for this one. So, what up? It's your boy T Bear here on the reaction. Usually, I, I will, I was, usually, this is Friday Night Tuesday, but this came up. Sorry. Uh, this this came up. I got some, some stuff going on uh, with some friends, some friends from one of the wrestling groups here. This came up on my timeline. I'm like, I'm gonna watch the break because I'm working from home today. I gotta check this out. So, Planner Planner Production put out a new video. You know, I've been slowly and cool with Planner. You know, I told you before I wasn't cool with him at first because he did the Dirty Baby Why Baby Face Sucks and Dirty Baby Faces Suck video. And, you know, if you saw that video, I. I went in to strangle that dude. But, lately his videos, his information videos have been pretty good, and I am enjoying it, though. So this one I came across is, Roman Reigns has gotten boring, but question mark. Now, in this in the description, I want to see if anybody, if he, if he, if he agree or not, because he had question mark, but he's obviously strongly agree. But, I will say this, I will agree with folks saying that he has gotten boring. Because I'm going to say this. You know, folks are so lo in love with this hill turn Roman Reigns have, have gotten into anything, folks. You know, I'm not for it because I'm not for the bad guy villains of hill. But I but I don't blame folks saying it got boring because it's like same old, same old stuff. Like, maybe that still fly back in the day when we had the, the territory days with Bruno Stan Martino, uh, Bob Blackland, Ric Flair and all that. Ric Flair... Hey, Dan, and all that, where a championship, gold chip, a person have a championship for a long time. This thing got going on with Roman Reigns is like not too far with this issue where Brock, except that he's on the show every week, almost every week, and everything. But I said this before, and I said I said this on plenty of time. WWE at this point take advantage of what fans like. They take advantage. Of it, they think they say when we hear it, they like it. They go along with it, but. They know how to run shit to the ground. And they run this whole Roman Reigns Hill run to the ground. In my opinion. I'm going to tell you why before I get to see what Polana got to say. We get that he's doing good as a Hill and with championship and all that. But the way he gets the championship with the same old cheating and all that stuff. I get it, Hills, that's what he'll do. But it's like. A broken record. It's like it's like consistent. Right? We got it's like expecting now, like a shenanigan in the Roman Reigns match or anything about Roman Reigns or, or or the bloodline is is uh shenanigans going to happen. It's like we shouldn't have, we shouldn't be expecting stuff all the time. Hell, half of us kind of low key respected the situation with Lesnar happening again. Lashley, we gonna get to Lesnar too, but yeah, they 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 run to the ground. And then, the other thing I'm going to say, they run to the ground. You know, I'm with the face and anything. Brock Lesnar's face turn, they run to the ground. In a way. They already ran that to the ground already. We, we get it. We love, and I'm telling you, I do love the, the current Brock we have right now. Lesnar, the face Brock, where he's more talking, active, and interesting. But, they're running to the ground. Because, one, I'm going to tell you this. He should not still be a face after what he did at the Royal Rumble. And then on WrestleMania when he lost to Lashley, they they should have kept they should have uh, kept Lashley being a face because the crowd was embracing them. They was happy that he beat Lesnar, but they pull what they got right now. They got a picture a Hogan, but this one they put a Hogan versus Sid Justice. But as you know, the story that Hulk, Hogan and Sid Justice when Hulk lost to Sid Justice, the crowd was actually cheering for Sid Justice. But the next night when they did recap, they they uh dubbed over they dubbed booze over it because you no know, his Sid was a hill. And then Sid, they kind of did the same thing with Shawn Michaels when Sid turned on Shawn Michaels, but that was understandable because they, they want to make sense. But still, they pulled him and pulled that because when they did recap with Lashley, they dubbed it old like boo, like he the one that like is all on him or anything, not let sell him like know what happened and he took he just took the pin. But anyway. Well, with Lesnar, one, he shouldn't be in face after this, uh, after him Bogart in the Royal Rumble like he did. And then, bring him over Raw, I like the moment he had with, Les with Lashley. You know, they, sh they should have made him, should have made, uh, made Lashley a heel. But, they Bogart him into the Elimination Chamber match. 
It's like they taking advantage of us of like loving this new Brock and taking advantage and they putting it in the Eric thing. Pretty much we're getting typical same Brock we got before, but put a put a face turn in front of it and folks will be happy. Same thing, we're kind of getting low key getting the same stuff with Roman, but a little bit more whatever, because he's doing his thing. But put Hill Hill in front of it for those who love Hill and they hide him behind this. So like they hide in their same old BS they do with guys, but behind um their alignments, in my opinion. It may sound crazy coming for it. It may sound crazy for me while I'm saying this, but that's what it seemed like. But let's see what Polana Production got to say. I'm not going to hold you all. See what Polana Production got to say about if Roman Reigns has Roman Reigns gone boring. I mean, I say yes, but he might say something different. But like, but before I go to other things, it's like this. He shouldn't be holding the title that long. Like, it's one of those where I say that's, that's not too far from the Brock was holding the title for Hodges. Like, even when guys like Triple H or um, who else had a, a, a long up? Uh, even Triple H. I was using him because he, he had the rain tear and all that. When the era to era, when he was holding the title for a while and anything, he dropped it a couple times and got right back. Like, he could at least drop it to Cena or even Finn Balor one time and then got it back maybe to the next, maybe the next pay-per-view or a later SmackDown, or whatever he 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 would be able to get it back, and he still would be dominant. Like Triple H done it, why can't Roman Reigns? But both say, "Oh, it's not the air to air no more." Like so, what? Like dominant heels can can take a, a little loss and get it right back afterwards and still be dominant. You know what I'm saying? If if a final boss can get their ass beat and then the next game they come even stronger, then a heel can lose the title one time and get it right back. But, um, hell, Lashley getting right back, and he's dominant. You know, they're saying that he might end up being a transitional and he might lose that elimination chamber. But Lashley, but Lashley right now, you know, well, like I said, and there's other thing, too, that Roman's reign, Roman's reign reigns, no pun intended, I didn't mean to say it like that, is like, shell is taking, it's taking light off of other, other superstars as well, too. Part, and also part why we're losing some of these guys on the side of the budget, because we're losing some of these uh, talents and releases. But, Let's see what Polana got to say. What is up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Our Hot Takes. And let's get straight onto the video with the first one that comes from Forgotten Son. And he says that Roman Reigns' character is becoming stale and he needs to turn face, but keep his attire and attitude a little alike to keep things more fresh. And Forgotten Son, I'm going to... Let me see what Forgotten I kind of turned my head a little bit because I was reading about listening, but... What the forgotten says, hot take wrote has become a sale. He needs to turn face back to his tire and add to a, a little like to keep things more refreshing. I would say I agree. Now I will say this. I agree with the face turn. I would give you the face turn. It's it's about time. The folks that are behind him, there are folks that's behind him. He's got the he's got something at times. He had the crowds crowds behind him with the ones and the bloodline and all that. It's that is is that time. Now going back to the old tire, no. I should, I should be, it should be like more like what Rock turned face. He's still being in the, still, still, still being, um, you know, the, the great one, the people champion after his face turn and all that, and didn't change a thing, thing, didn't change a thing, it's just alignment, that's it. Roman should be just do the same by like, turn face, but still be a tribal chief or, as have folks a lot acknowledge them or still have the bloodline in the way. So um uh, but I agree partially with that. Just I agree with the face but not not uh but, uh, but keep his oh I said it wrong. Whoops. I read it wrong. I'm dumb. I thought he said keep turn face but but changes but yeah but then again I'll say that back then. I I agree. Keep a little like to keep the rings more fresh. And yeah I uh, sorry I agree with that. I read it wrong. It's I'm sorry. It's it's lunchtime was early, but I read it wrong. But um, yeah um, I didn't I go then I totally agree with that uh, hot take. I feel, but let's see what Polani gonna say. Oops, I put on mute. A little like to keep things more fresh, 
And Forgotten Son, I'm going to have to completely disagree with mm -hmm. you. I do not want to see Roman Reigns stop anytime soon, especially after considering the fact that him and Paul Heyman are back. I was upset when those two broke off, but now they're back together and they're stronger than ever. I love it. I'm a fan. I'm excited. And, and I would like to see Roman Reigns keep dominating as the head of the table. And I don't think it's getting stale. I think a lot of wrestling fans want to see something fresh every few months. Let's just allow the story to keep going because I still want to see him destroy everything everyone in this path and see who is going to be the one that takes him down the next hot take comes from Hehe, he, and they say the royal rumble victory should not be given to a rookie but instead an established member who can turn into a star i think drew mcintyre winning the 2020 rumble is the best example of this and i agree with this and i kind of disagree i agree with the fact of what you're saying that yes it's important for some people who are established like drew mcintyre in 2020 to win and i do agree that that rookie should not win but i also think that established superstars like brock lesnar batista stone cold steve austin Shawn michaels and those kind of people also deserve to win the rumble because in reality the rumble just builds up a wrestlemania match and that's pretty much it and i'm fine with anyone winning except for rookies the next hot take comes from khalid and he says i think kenny omega's time at aws played its course the man should come into wwe for a while it would be a brand new feel and maybe it can lead to the inevitable dream match against roman reigns hmm, and sorry that's interesting but i doubt that's happening Khalid, that is not happening. I don't think it's happening. I don't think it should happen. I feel like Kenny Omega still has a lot more to do in AEW, and he's perfectly fine. I feel there. like he should come back as a face, and then we have the uh, Elite versus uh, Elite versus whoever the Undisputed Era going to be, whatever, or or he come back to the hill and the Elite, the Undisputed Era be the faces. Who knows? But I feel like they should either way. He should come back, and we should have the Elite versus Undisputed Era, whatever their name's going to be. Um, going on. I think they probably gonna wait till Roger Stroud contract is gone, and he might end up going on to AEW to join them. Who knows? But yeah should not come to wwe because to be completely honest with you, I feel like wwe would bury this man within seconds. JL says Charlotte is in desperate need of a character change. The rest of the four horsewomen have had major, with the exception of maybe Sasha, character changes since their main roster debuts. Charlotte is doing the same thing she's been doing since NXT, and I could not have said it any better. I totally agree. Okay, this so like, I this love is, Charlotte. All right, so this is pretty much a whole hot take thing. All right, so I'm thinking it's gonna be a whole thing about Roman. It's just, it's just. All right, so this is like low key clickbait, but I guess I'm gonna go along with it. But as a wrestler and athlete, I think she has so much decorated highlights in her career. I don't but care about Charlotte right Flair. So is super skip dry, this and that is the problem. That's why we don't care. So she definitely needs to change things up. The leaders YouTube says that John Cena should bring the Peacemaker gimmick to WWE, even if it's a bad idea for him with the smiley face. Everybody was shot at one and then the Cena the Royal Rumble. That would have been dope if he did that. And no, I do not want to see that at all. If John Cena is coming back, it needs to be as John Cena with his jorts, all right? It doesn't work without that. But if you do want the Peacemaker gimmick, I think I could see that happening at the Royal Rumble as a surprise entrant, but nothing more than that. The next hot take says that Reigns' one-offs with so many guys is actually good for his victim count at the end of his title reign. And I agree, but not for the reason and you provided. I agree that I like seeing things because it's fresh. I like Roman Reigns beating Kevin Owens and then Seth Rollins and then Brock Lesnar and then Finn Balor and all these other guys because it makes it fresh. And I really like the fact that Roman Reigns is just super dominant. I don't really care too much about it at the end of his title reign. He, uh, I guess he's the one that's just... Love Roman Reigns. Love this current Roman Reigns so much. Like, folks, is like, I, I, I'm going to say this. Folks are on, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, folks is too much on his dick right now. I'm going to say, it's too much too much on his tribal dick right now. I'm going to say that. And I see that a lot all the time. They act like he cannot do nothing wrong at, at this point. And I see it so many times. So he could say that he beat all these people. I just like the fact that it's fresh. Amiro says that Undertaker's last match ever should have been against The Fiend at Mania, where Taker would have lost in front of a full house crowd, not the cinematic match. And I kind of agree, like, I wish we would, would have seen The nice. Fiend versus The Undertaker, because that is a dream match I would have loved to see. But at the end of the day, no one really knew how long COVID was going to be, and I thought The Undertaker versus AJ Styles in that cinematic Boneyard match 
was perfect so i'm not too upset about it like yeah what i wish we had the fiend versus undertaker with a big crowd obviously but it isn't the end of the day who knows maybe you will come back maybe the undertaker wants one more match in front of a crowd because he see the fans and i wouldn't be too upset about that and i know it would defeat the purpose of his retirement but come on the man deserves 70 80 000 fans screaming thank you taker Codemeister1121 says AEW is the most perfect wrestling promotion ever, and that is not a hot take. It's just a lie. That's, that's not true at all. No, I'm gonna say this. AEW's killing it, but they're not perfect. They're not perfect. They're not perfect art. They are not perfect. I'm gonna say that right now. They're not perfect. They have their moments too. But they're good. But they're they're doing way better. They're doing better than WWE. I will say that. I will say the ones that's doing the best in my honest opinion, despite the new situation I ain't like. Impact Wrestling is kind of killing it right now, especially with the uh, honor rigor honor thing they got storyline they got going to. I like what's going on right there. But AEW, they're good, but they're not perfect. They're not perfect though. I'm saying they're like they're like better than WWE in a way, but they're not too far with their be with their uh stuff with WWE as well too. For starters. Their women's division still need work. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm saying, even though, and two, they're, they got to uh, spread. They, you know, it's like at this time, we got good more faces than Hills at AW now. They got to spread out their championship. It's only, is at the moment we got like, we really only have, well, no, no, then again, I'm, I'll take that back. They, they're good right now. It was just, I guess, because both their women's champions are Hills. That's why I felt that way. So then again, I guess it is kind of even. They're kind of even in a way because they're top the AEW top championship and at the top championship, they're the uh, TNT championship and the tag championships are held by faces right now. But it, I guess I feel like because because the women's titles are held by hills, so I guess it's kind of balanced. But um, I still feel like they also is like you know kind of um kind of like. They need to fix their heel, their face heels uh, situation well too. Like some of their guys could could I guess on they're only um like some of the guys like Hook right now is heel by associated because of FEW, but he should come off the right the the face tunnel more often. You know he's part of FEW. He should come off the face tunnel because he's too old as hell. They need to uh, stop trying to have Daniel Bryan come off the face tunnel but act like a heel. That's that's a little ridiculous. And we, we end the whole situation with Cody Rose and the family, except for Dustin and all of them. Well, mainly Cody and Brandy, they are uh, booing them and they're supposed to be faces. I'm not sure my brain, but Cody especially. And as well as uh, my puppy, House of Black, I they should at least clarify that House of Black are tweeners, in my opinion, because they, they don't come out like, just like Mossy, I think he's like an anti hero face or, or, or consider a tweener because he doesn't come out the tunnel or anything, but neither do they. So they should uh, uh, clarify that as well too. Like they, their their face and heel things slightly broken as well too, but not as broken as WWE right now. At least Impact, you know for sure who's a face or anything with that. With their face and heel with that though, you know it's not set stone, but you can tell by the action though. Like right now, you you know I don't think it's like is 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 written down that uh, W Morrissey uh, big cast is a face. Now, now doing his few moves, but he's a face. He's he's a face. He's been facing. He's been going. He's been beating uh, mostly hill asses for the since the uh, since uh, hard to kill. Since I think it was hard to kill. I think since then he's been. And then you know, and you know, I'm not down for face turn hill. Ter I'm not down for hills terms, but I see. But I I understand. Uh, but at least they're finally brought up. Uh, they uh, broke the. Cannon with Matt Cardona, you know he was healing Indies, but he's still playing face in the uh, Impact. At least they broke that, broke that. You know I'm not, I'm not a fan of it, but you know I'm not Cardona or anything. But it's interesting that they uh, finally broke that uh, two cannon story with, with Cardona. But yeah, other than that, AW uh, still needs some fixing to do. You know they're they're doing they're t oh, that's they're definitely a step up from WWE right now. Well, mainly the main roster. The and it, and XT there, the question with them though, but yeah. At all, I can't agree with it whatsoever. AEW has its flaws and mm -hmm. has its good things that comes with it, but there's definitely a lot of flaws and problems as well.
Thomas Money Star Banks says that Sasha vs. Ronda Rousey should have been the main event of WrestleMania this year, just like Becky and Charlotte. I don't really get the Becky and Charlotte part. I don't know, but Sasha already has a main event, so I'm gonna assume that Thomas means that Sasha vs. Ronda should be the main event instead of Charlotte vs. Ronda. And guys, to be completely honest with you, I kind of agree with that one, just because I recently watched the match a couple days different. ago at the Royal Rumble, and I really enjoyed it, and I also like Sasha Banks a lot more than Charlotte, so it definitely would have been And awesome. it's something different, so yeah, I get that. To see Sasha versus Ronda in a main event match, but at the end of the day, this is WWE and they want to see Char Charlotte have that main event spot with Ronda. And there's nothing we can do about it. It sucks, but I do agree with you, Thomas. The next hot take says that Triple H should open his own wrestling company and work with other promotion. He's gotten so many connections in the industry too, so I think he can give competition mm. to WWE. And there's no way that Triple H would ever be competition to WWE. I think if anything, he would create another AEW kind of Damn, brand. Look how yeah, he was juiced back then. Cause look how jacked he was back then compared to like now. He was juiced up like crazy. Glad he got off that, but still. I didn't realize how juiced up he was so looking at this right now. He was jacked. Because that is all he likes. He likes indie wrestling, and that doesn't really translate well to the masses. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the reason it would not compete with WWE. Hi Hi says that there isn't enough wrestling on Raw or SmackDown. It is advertised as a wrestling show. Just talking about the folks in my group right there, because they're, they're, they're in the group. Well, it's a chat. A chat I, uh, I talk to with folks that's like based off the former group as part of. We just talk about that, like how like it seems like it's most it's, it's not no wrestling in there. It's not. It's like I just said something like if you watch WWE main event, it's 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 like only two wrestling matches while in between is recap. It's almost feel like that, but but the re, it's not instead of recap, it's live. It's live with the well, it's it's a live wherever they're going to with with segments and promos and all that, but not no wrestling. And I do agree. NXT has more wrestling than, than um NXT has more wrestling than the main roster. That's crazy. Uh two or five live, even the instructor like pretty much the velocity, heat, and main event of NXT 2.0, they got more wrestling than them. NXT UK has more wrestling than Raw and SmackDown. So how are your the, the shows that's under you got more wrestling going on than than the, the flagship shows? Tell me that. Oh, and yeah, that's very true. I agree with this hot take as well because I did see a statistic a while ago explaining how there's like 37 minutes of wrestling in the whole week when you look at Raw and SmackDown, and that is not good at all. There needs to be a little and bit more. Especially with Raw being three hours, like I get they want, I get that's what USA won, but then again, I always told you with them last video, it's all about that money. But three hours is too long for the stuff they got going on. For it to be, like I said, that that very little wrestling in the show. More wrestling than that. Like I said, I really don't care too much about the wrestling, but I want to see a little bit more than just like 20% of Raw and SmackDown, you know? Phoenix says that going with the whole drip theory, Seth turning face should happen sometime this year as it could make his character come full circle. He's the delusional joker of WWE, but frankly, he wants to become someone whom his kid will look up to. Him dropping the act and showing who he really is while turning face would be nice as well as winning the Universal Championship. Now, and before I go there, before he goes, he said was there. I thought they was I thought they was going with that as well too, but they, right, like I said, they're they're this WWE like they like to run stuff to the ground. You know this. I'm not, you know, he's doing okay as this, as this, as whatever, but I feel like this, sh he shouldn't, they should at least make him a tween or an anti hero at least right now. Cause the crowd is loving it and everything. He should make this, make this, make him a tweener at the moment, at least at best. Make him tweener at best. But they're saying that possibly he can end up turning face after Elimination Changer because him and KO might end up having a feud. But, or he could be put in that, um, and that triple, and a triple threat for uh, the WrestleMania title match with Brock and uh, Roman, but I feel like um, they at the, right now make him a tweener as tweener at least, at least make him a tweener, because he deserves it. And that was really well said, and I got nothing else to add to it except, yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I would enjoy that. And Seth Rollins definitely is due for a babyface yes. turn very soon. Because a lot of fans were cheering for him at the Raw Rumble. Mm -hmm. Blaze Shahil says that Riddle is amazing. He should get his first world title reign either this or next year. Yes. And there's folks saying that he actually should be the one. You know, it's probably going to be, they say Lesnar might do it. He should be the one that wins their Elimination Chamber. I will be happy as hell if that does happen. 
I I have doubted it, but I would love for that to happen that he and him win the Women's Champion. And then they say they might have a few with him or, or in who knows, but I would love for Riddle to win that champ title in um in uh the Women's Champion. We'll see. Year, and I totally see it happening because Riddle has had an exceptional year, especially once he was paired with Randy Orton. And I think Randy Orton put him over the edge yes, and made him did. feel like a star. And that was a great idea because now Riddle looks like a world championship contender very soon. Robbie says that bringing back Brock Lesnar and Ronda Rousey was a fantastic move. And those two will always be a major draw. This is the thing about it. That's the one reason I, that is a good, it was a good idea because of draw. That's the only thing because the draw. Cause Rock not, cause Rock's not coming to the next WrestleMania and everything, and Cena's too busy with Peacemaker. Only person we possibly have is Stone Cold Steve Austin, but that I think that's the only reason why Vince pulled, called the Audible and put them two as the uh, Royal Rumble winners so they can headline WrestleMania. That's a, now all I say is it's good for the draw, but overall, I, I can't I can't fully agree with uh. That 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 though, because them being a draw is like they're they're caring more about money and exposure than astral wrestling. But let's see what Plana got to say. And I one thousand percent agree. I that's why I was all for it, and I think they were the perfect Royal Rumble winners. The next hot take says that Mad Cat Moss and Happy Corbin are great. No, the fuck they not. That shit. I would I. Uh, hard luck Corbin was a little bit better than this. This happy Corbin and, and Mad Cause, this is, get, oh my God, annoying as fuck right now. I guess they're doing a the job because of Hill, but if, we, if I was a, a fan of Hill, I still find them, they ass is annoying. Like, do something different with them, please. Characters, and yes, 100% agree. I love these two for whatever reason. I think they are a great pairing, they are great characters, and a lot of people give them shit, but they're good. I don't care what you guys say. I like Mad Cat Moss and Happy Corbin, and especially Mad Cat Moss, I think is the future of the company. He's going to be a big star. I'm telling you right now. Dark Shadow says that Finn Balor needs to turn heel. Whenever he's on a face on the roster, he never does anything, so he comes off as still. And that's very true. You might as well try turning him heel and just see how it turns out. If it doesn't work out, great. You failed. You don't use him anyways. It doesn't really matter. You just pretend like you never did it in the first place. But personally, I want to see what he was in in NXT on the main roster. I think it could be good stuff. And Ricky says that MJF wouldn't make it in WWE <laughs> right now, at least. And no, I disagree. No, MJF would be a big star right now if he joined today. I really think. I said this plain time. If anybody would jump from A Dutty to Dutty E, it would be this asshole. Just because he's an asshole. Just because everybody know how much of an asshole he is, he will pull this asshole move. And. I think they will push him just because of how much folks hate him. They will push him just over that because how much popular he got over his, over the hate for him. I will feel like they do that shit. They would do just 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 like you know that's not how Rick Fred came over to that area. It was like almost closely. In in closely almost like a Ric Flair going to WF after whatever happened to him not being in WCW. I feel like that should be like that in a way. That will be that. <laughs> that will be interesting, but yeah. Yeah, MJF would be a world champion within one year, and he would definitely win the Money in the Bank. And literally, if you right now, he would probably win Money in the Bank because he would be a great briefcase Yo. holder. Jaden Smith says that Roman Reigns will leave WWE soon for Hollywood within two or three years to pursue acting like The Rock, and I could see that, but he I don't could. think two or three years. I say maybe four or five years. He could. Once I he's see really that. ready to retire from WWE, I can see that when he hits the early 40s, like John Cena and The Rock did in their career. I can see it. Preston says WWE don't make stars. They don't, and that's what I said earlier. They're too focused on Roman Reigns and his tribal chief nonsense for like too long. They too focused on that. They're not, they're not. Their heads not at the other guys or nothing like that. They're they're not focused on the other guys. They're just um. They're not. They're they're not giving other. They're they're like I say. Even their other stars they have are not getting getting their light taken away from them because they too focused on Roman and right now they too focused on Roman and Brock right now. Lastly, barely getting. Lastly, um, even when he was me the first time, he was getting he was getting overshadowed by Roman. And you know how shitty they did Big East try to run 
Oh my god, I was so pissed about that too. And it's it's like it's that reason and then, you know, and they haven't given the Brock like they're too about this, this, this they're taking advantage of the folks the fact that folks are eating the Hill Roman are alive and the fact that folks loving Brock face Brock right now that they they're taking the focus off of other other wrestling, which is sad. And for a while we losing them to uh, uh to releases and stuff like that anymore and that's just wrong they actually make a lot of stars if you look at someone like bianca Belair, or you look at someone like riddle like i, I mean i see they're doing something with riddle but like that's less i, I see where you're going with that part they are stars but it's still they still second fiddle to like they're still second fiddle to uh roman and brock the women's are still second fiddle to the four host women's right now it's like it's like the wrestlemania right now is, is really focused on the title is really focused on Two of the women's of the four horsewomen's and and Sasha a little bit too and possibly and we're surprised Becky comes if Bailey comes back as being the the surprise um, last person for the uh, women's Olympic chamber is she'll be part of that big focus role too like they put them over put the four horsewomen over the rest of the women's and they put Ro Roman and Brock over the rest of the guys it's like they they make stars but still get they still get overshadowed by. Uh, one or two, one a group of people or two people right now. It's just crazy. I mentioned earlier, or Austin Theory, or Damian Priest. It is very clear that the WWE is making new stars. I think they're trying, and I think they're doing a pretty good job. And the last hot take comes from GT Gamer, and I just thought it was funny because this guy literally commented this five times. So I was like, you know what? I gotta react to it. He says Brock and Roman at WrestleMania will be a garbage singles match. I thought that was so funny, but I disagree with you. I think Brock and Roman, even though I don't really want to see it too badly. I don't think it's going to be a bad match. Yeah. I think it will be a good match. I agree. It's still going to be a good match. But it would be nice to put the just this mix it up, like throw in a third person in there. Or make it or even make it a fail forward, like throw in Drew in there somehow. Or throw in doing Seth or Drew in there. And all that. That's I will say that. But um I still don't think it will be a bad match. I think it would be a better match than the ones we've seen between two before. I mean, recent as far as recently do like better than the one he did. They did at us. Uh, what was the group? Uh, Crown Royal, and then they bet, and then, and then many other stuff they they had in between people. So yeah, this would be a good match for us. And I'm kind of excited, even if nobody gets added to the match, like Seth or Drew McIntyre. It is what it is. I think right now this is the most compelling storyline between these two. All right, so yeah, um, most of the stuff he said, I agree. Most of the stuff I half of the stuff he said, I somewhat agree, some I don't agree. Like definitely a, like he he dis he disagree with I dis I agree with like the Roman thing, I said I agree that Roman is getting stale. And he should turn face, yes. And he should turn face but Kitty yes, because the, the frowns behind him and all of that though, but you know. Um I told you the reason why I almost didn't like this guy because of his uh W why baby, why W baby faces suck? Cause he, cause it's obvious he don't. He's one. He's part of the crew that the group of w, a group of uh, wrestling fans that don't like faces at all, like especially faces at WWE, cause he feel like WWE mishandled faces and all of that. You know, doing right and all of that. What was the other one? The, and some of the other ones I agree as well. I agree and disagree with. But um. But yeah, as far as uh, but but yeah um. A W gotta do better. Gotta do a little bit better. They're, they're better than W E, but it still got some work to do. I feel like Impact, in my opinion, is doing way better than them as well too. Um, Finn, if it's a must, whatever, just can't, just won't be rooting for him if they go that route. And there's folks saying they, they folks, they're folks wanting them to turn run B E to turn heel so they can re, rephrase that him not giving them a similar run thing like. Leave Biggie alone, man. They're, they're leave the new day alone. They're doing fine with the way they are. Leave them alone. Um, what's the other one? What's some other ones they fought in? Like Triple H, I feel like he shouldn't do it, but I understand why they asked that. Seth turn face need to happen. Like it should have been happened after after uh Royal Rumble, but they still got the situation. They got his raw situation going on. Like at least I would say make him a tweener. At this point, right now, and turn face maybe after eliminated leading up to WrestleMania or something. But um, other than that, though, Duddy Duddy pretty much got a lot of work to do unless they just giving up and they don't care no more and he's ready to sell it, whatever. But 
that's my opinion with it. And if you like my reaction, do you agree with either my opinion or Polana's uh production uh, uh opinion or some of the takes? Comment down below. It's your boy T Bear signing off. One love.